Okay, this video is going to try to explain the idea of enantiomers, which are mirror images of molecules, and the idea of racemic mixtures, which is a mixture that's 50%, 50% of each of the mirror images, right-handed and left-handed versions. In order to illustrate this concept, I want to talk about a reaction. Now, this is a reaction we'll look into detail uh, with later in the semester, but Imagine you have two molecules. Here is a chloride, negatively charged anion, and this is a carbocation. Right? This carbon here only has three bonds associated with it, so it has a plus one formal charge. We call that a carbocation. So the positively charged carbocation and the negatively charged chloride may be able to react with each other and form a bond. So let's imagine that happening under these circumstances. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see. Yeah, you might imagine the electrons, one of the lone pairs from the chloride, forms a bond, shares those electrons between this chloride and the carbon to form a, a new molecule, right? Um, now, if you look at this, you could imagine that this chloride addition to the carbocation forms a chiral carbon, right? It will make this carbon tetrahedral, and that tetrahedral carbon will now have one, two, three, four different things attached to it makes it chiral. Therefore, it has some stereochemistry associated with it and is optically active. But you might imagine this reaction happening in maybe two different ways. One is where what we've illustrated here, the chloride attacks from this side of the carbocation, but you might imagine this happening from the other side also. Let's show that happening. Maybe the chloride attacks from the right side to form a bond over here. That would also give this chiral carbon with the same four things attached to it, but it would give a different product. Okay, So here's our first attack from the left side. It would give a product that looks like this with the chlorine carbon bond on the left side of the molecule. Here's the chloride attacking from the right side, <clears throat> and it would form this product. Now, if we look at both of these together, we might imagine that these molecules could be identical to each other. But the reality is, since that this carbon has that interesting chiral nature to it with four different substituents, that these are different molecules. They're stereoisomers of each other. And like we talked about earlier with chiral carbons, these are non-superimposable molecules. And in fact, they're mirror images of each other. If you imagine this plane in the center is a mirror, it looks like this molecule is looking at itself in the mirror. Okay? And there's no way we can really rotate one of these molecules in order to superimpose it on another one. Again, like we showed earlier, if we try to line up this chlorine, that looks pretty good. The ethyl group looks good, but the hydrogen and the oxygen are backwards, and there's no way we can fix that. Okay, So a reaction like what we talked about earlier here, where the chloride has a choice of attacking from one side or the other side, can lead to um, the formation of a racemic mixture an equal mixture of the right-handed version and the left-handed version of a molecule, an equal mixture of the enantiomers.